This video is brought to you by VanTracker. VanTracker is a remote automatic kill switch and GPS tracker with geofence movement detection, start detection, or door open detection. Go to thevantracker.com to learn about our 60 day money back guarantee and two months of free cellular service. All right, so here's my new accelerator cable. Got the little gasket at the end. This part was off of there, so I kind of squeezed it on there. Hopefully it'll stay. Actually, maybe I'll put a zip tie on there or something. Uh, or maybe I'll do that after I inspect it after, I don't know, 100 miles or something. Goes down here, got this long white. This one is, uh, I think I got it from Van Cafe. It's encased in a uh, plastic sleeve. The metal wire, uh, not focusing very well. Anyway, at the end, it's just... Uh, bar that's pinched on. Uh, this is an 84 automatic. The um, saddle cable looks very different for a uh, manual, I understand. Got a new one of these boots at the same time, because why not? And I found this at a junkyard because I thought that mine was broken off. I th there's a sort of lip that goes around here, but on one side it's not there. So I thought it was broken off. I got this from, from the junkyard. It actually has a crack right there, so I think my original one is actually in better shape than this one, so I'm probably not going to use it. It's held on by these four little uh, Phillips screws, and um, no big deal. Uh, so let's go under. So under the van, obviously, I had to remove the uh, clamshell, uh, the tire holder, which really isn't that difficult. Um, but on mine, it took a little finagling to get it around this. I guess it's the Speedo or the something like that cable. Uh, so anyway, missing the boot on the back, unscrewed this uh, little cover. It stays hooked on. And there's what it looks like. Oops. Um, so we got this. That's a 9. Is that right? It might be an 8. In my lap. It is eight millimeters on mine. And what I had to do, uh, it was on there so, uh, I mean, it was, I don't know what you call it, it was screwed in so hard. I had to take my uh, vice grips, put them on here. Oh, God. Dirt in the eye. That's awesome. And put them on here like this. Where I could get enough leverage to crack that nut, uh, bolt off of there. I don't know if there's a, some thread lock on there or something like that, but I'll probably put some on there after it's clean up that bolt. And let's see what it looks like. So here it is. That just slides out of there. And then this whole uh, bolt and holder slides out of there. I'm going to inspect that little uh, bolt and its holder. In the meantime, I'm just going to take this and kind of shove it back like that. This one doesn't have that plastic sheath. It's just a wire. And this just kind of goes back there over the fuel tank. And so I'm just going to kind of push it back like that and see what happens. So here we are at the back of the van, and this is going to be less than helpful for some people. But here's that white, uh, same white sheath or whatever you want to call it, pull holder. Turns in this black thing. This is part of the new uh, cable assembly. Goes through here. A little uh, wrap on there. Just to make it a little nicer. Goes through here. Connects to, well, nothing basically. I might be able to just pull it out. Yeah, it looks like I can. Pretty shredded. Have everything out right now for this Boston conversion I'm doing. God forbid any van owner just do one thing, but you know, you might as well. So I'm just going to pull it out. Well, let's see what we got. It's a little rusty. Certainly hope this is the right way to do this. Oh, wait. No, this is. Uh, 
Uh, this whole that whole thing's gonna. And it doesn't make any sense to pull it out any further than that because this whole assembly. So I'm gonna pop this off. Well, that's gonna be a little work getting that thing out of there. Uh, yep. That uh, that bolt is a ten. But the other end, and it turns out it just slides off. I thought it was gonna I was gonna have to pry it open or something like that. But that was pretty easy. It now makes sense why this boot was off here when it came from Van Cafe. I'm gonna have to slide this over that, and then it's gonna go in like that. And then I'm gonna slide the boot on after that. And then that's pretty much it. So I think everything's going to just go on kind of in the reverse order. Uh, the boot, I got it back onto that cable. Probably not going to use a, probably not going to use a zip tie because it wasn't made to use one. Shouldn't need one. It seemed like it might interfere. This boot, I'm going to have to stick this back in here. Um, if I clean that out, and um, the oh, at the front, I'll probably have to get everything installed and have somebody readjust it where they can go up there and fill the pedal and all that good stuff. That's obviously why the bar is a little bit longer, so you can do a little adjustment there. So I have to wait until everything's back together, but it seems pretty straightforward. So look at my old cable. There's basically nothing wrong with it. A little bit of rust uh, and a little, where was it? No, it was down here next to this end. So obviously this thing looks, looks completely shot, but the cable itself looks fine. A little bit of wear right here, but I mean, there's no chance of this thing failing anytime soon. But uh, I think it was only 30 bucks or something like that. So as far as van again maintenance, preventative maintenance goes, that's uh, pretty cheap. Didn't take very long. And uh, But if you're going real cheap, maybe you want to inspect yours before uh, replacing it.